Okay, my name is Catherine Keith. I'm the owner of Valley Vista Farm on Valley Vista Road in Hillsborough. And um, one quick thing I'd like to just, not on the topic I'm really talking about, but personally I feel that um, this decision needs to be for the good of the whole and it's not up to individual property owners regardless of, of how they feel and a farmer can always sell their land it can be to another farmer. There's no entitlement to development. So that's an aside to my primary comments. Um, I want to tell you that there is a thriving equine industry in the candidate reserve areas north of Highway 26. There are more than 11 equine facilities in that area. At least five of them are horse boarding stables, three of them are breeding barns, and at Two of them both board and breed. The stables range in size from three and a half to 140 acres. Residents of Portland and Tigard and Forest Grove, Banks, Beaverton, Hillsboro, Gresham, Milwaukee, Corvallis, and even people from Vancouver, Washington come to our area north of the highway to board their horses and to take lessons. There are shows and clinics that are offered that bring other people from other areas to the area as well. Um, in addition to uh, people enjoying their recreational opportunities, these stables and their clients are part of the rural economy in that area. They purchase grain, hay, equine supplies, and farm equipment. They use the services from local veterinarians and farriers and other equine service providers. Along with the farmers north of the highway, equine businesses in this area enable farm services to be profitable and to keep a viable agricultural economy in Washington County. I have a slight bit more. May I continue? I would like you to support Michael Jordan's recommendation and also that of Multnomah County's Citizen Advisory Committee to keep the areas north of Highway 26 rural and to protect the area from becoming an urban reserve. Please keep them rural to maintain the equestrian facilities that cater to urban equestrian enthusiasts and to provide land for the breeding farms that contribute to Oregon's agricultural livestock production. Um, please also listen to what the citizens are saying. I know you've heard a lot about Washington County. And please look at some of the testimony from the August 20th Washington County Public Hearing. Uh, that testimony did not affect what Washington County has said so far, but I think if you look at it, a lot more people came to that hearing okay, if you could wrap up. than came here. I am. So finally, please protect those lands north of the highway by designating them rural reserves. Thank you. Any questions? Councilor Park? Uh, thank you. I, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry. I came in. Catherine uh, Keith. Catherine Keith. Uh, I had a question in terms of uh, <clears throat> you, you do something a little bit different than row cropping or you know the type of things in the ground. And the question I have is in terms of critical mass because I know in the animal husbandry side it's different. It's not an area that I'm familiar with. Um, and so critical mass for you is different than what it is for you know those of us grow in the in the ground or in, in the field. Could you describe a little bit as to the level of where you're at in terms of uh, your veterinary services, et cetera, as to what you need to have in your area? And, and I don't even know where you go for services in, in your particular spot. Uh, critical mass. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Rayhawk can probably address that better. There are about uh, 10 farriers in the area for Washington County and some that even come from Clackamas Star area. Uh, there are three major veterinarians uh, Wilco and has several stores for us to get all the kind of supplies that we need. So I don't think we as horse operations are challenged by as much as the other farmers, if that's your question. I was, that's what I was just curious about because you, um, so you do, you do feel your supply chain is solid with the, as few as there, I mean, there's, there's a lot more row croppers, I guess, but uh, when you mention Wilco and so forth, I would assume their main business is not uh, the type of material that you have. It's other things that other farmers have. Well, act yes, actually, so, so the equine industry goes to a lot of the same places that farmers go. Wilco, Coastal, 
there's quite a few others. <laughs> John, John Deere, yes. Yeah. And um, if you walk into a Wilco, a significant portion of those uh, stores or coastal are devoted to equine equipment of one okay. sort or another. All right, thank Does you. Does that help? Yeah. And I know for at least those two uh, uh, facilities that were mentioned, they're located in the city of Cornelia. So they may be located elsewhere in our region, but I know for sure they're present in my district. I guess we're 